Hello and welcome to the fourth part of our intro to Onshape series. In this video, we'll go over some basics of creating an assembly and animating some part connections. Let's get started. We completed our block and before we work on the assembly connections, we're going to do just a tiny bit of cleanup on this. So I'm going to select the sketch one and I'm going to hold the shift key and select extrude two, which is our final feature that selects all of the features in our list. And I'm going to click on this new folder button and I'm going to call this block. And that'll place all of those features that we worked on in the previous videos into this folder called block, which I can, uh, which I can hide. You can see all of the things that we've rolled back are still available, but all of those features that are included in this block are now a part of the folder. One more thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this part, right click and select rename and we'll name this part block as well. That takes care of a little bit of the cleanup. The next thing I want to do is to add some mate connectors to the top. I'll create two mate connectors for the top and I'll create one mate connector to the bottom. But before I add my mate connectors, I actually want to do just a little bit of prep work. I'm going to select the top face of this block and I'm going to click sketch, create a sketch on top of this. And I'm going to add some construction lines. I want to be able to snap to this point and this point right here. So I'll create some construction lines and I'm going to snap to the centers of these circles. So I'll do one going down this way. I'll do another one going down this way. That'll create some midpoints for these lines. I'm going to snap from here to here. And that'll make a midpoint right here so I can create a construction line going that way. I'll also create a construction line that goes to this point right here. And that should be all. If I didn't want to use a construction line right here, I could have also just used the point and just added that midpoint right there. Okay, so that takes care of the construction lines. I'm going to lock that in. And now when I choose my mate connectors, I can hover over this point and use the top face. There we go. And I'll lock that mate connector in. I'll add another one at this point right here as well. So let me select the top face and we'll put one right there. Okay, so that takes care of the mate connectors for the top face. Let's flip over to the bottom and we'll add our mate connector down here. This one should be easy. There's already the origin, so we'll just snap to that spot right there. And that'll take care of that mate connector. Okay, so we have our three mate connectors. I'm gonna turn off these sketches. And let's hop into the assembly. So here's the assembly. We have no objects in here just yet. We'll insert our first part and we'll actually make, let's do two for now. Here is the first one and then we'll create the second one. So you can see that these are not connected just yet. We'll add those using the mate connectors. We'll select the fastened mate and I can select one of these mate connectors. So we'll choose this one and maybe we'll connect it to this one up here. When I do that, you can see that it snaps in place. And I can rotate these. It's depending on how I want them to look. That looks good, and I will click on the checkbox. So those two are fastened together. Okay, let's add another block to this. Insert block, we'll put one on this side, and we'll see if we can 
connect this one over to these two sections. So I'll select this one and this mate connector and we will fasten those together as well. All right, so they are fastened together, but we have this problem where they're intersecting. Uh, I don't want them to overlap like that. And that's because we're, we need one more mate connector at the bottom right here. So we'll fix that, we'll go back into the part studio, go back to the bottom, and we'll add just one more mate connector right here. And that should line up, if I wanted to, I could have added another one right here, but that should line up the correct spacing. I'll click, okay, go back into the assembly. And now we can use those two mate connectors, this one and this one. And we'll rotate those in place. And there we go. If I wanted to do it sideways, I could add more mate connectors on these sides. I'll let you do that on your own. You can check that out. I want to show you something else that we can do. Instead of using the fastened mate connector, which only allows us to fix the parts in place, I'm actually going to use the slider mate. And this will allow us to move the block up and down. So I can place that there. I'm actually gonna place it right here in this one. Do that. And I'm actually gonna place it right there. And I'll click okay. So the slider allows us to move the block up and down. And the other ones are moving as I'm moving this thing. So we're actually going to fix this in place. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click on fix. And that'll lock those in place on the scene. And that's what the slider mate allows us to do. So there is this connection that's made between these two mate connectors and it allows me to use the slider. And the nice thing with this is that I can create some positions for them. So for example, I can call this one connected, add that to the list and then I'll move this up and I'll call this disconnected. So now I can go between these two positions. I can go between the connected position and the disconnected position. Last thing we're gonna do is we'll animate this. We'll right click on the slider and we'll choose animate. We'll have a start value of zero. And since we're going up, I'm gonna do a negative 25 and we'll do 100 steps. Okay, so there's an animation of the block lifting up to 25 millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and select the reciprocating playback and we'll make it 200. And there we go, there's our animation. You can turn off all of these mate connectors, we hide these. And there's the animation of our block as it moves up and down. There we go, we finished our block and made connections in the assembly. I hope you enjoyed watching this series. If you learned something from it, give these videos a like. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.